Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we are gonna create this cinema letter C logo using of course 3D effect inside Adobe Illustrator. So let's dig into tutorial right now. So I am now in Adobe Illustrator new document and first of all I want to load my grid so control quad or command quad to show the grid and control shift quad or command shift quad to snap to the grid. You can also find these options uh, here. Let's start with the circle. So grab your ellipse tool or click L. Open the dialog box hitting on free space of your artboard. Link between width and height and set the width and height to 320 pixels. Click OK. Swap between fill and stroke and I want to set our stroke to black. One point black is OK. Now we need to convert this uh, circle into the 3D object. So go to the Edit 3D Extrude and Bevel. Here we have a bunch of options but we interested only on XYZ values and in our extrusion depth. So first of all we need to set our x value to 0, z value to 0 as well and y value to 45 degrees. And now we need to increase the extrude depth to 180 points. Check preview and click OK. Now leave it as it is because uh, we need to create actually a symbol and map this symbol on this 3D shape. So, uh, to create a symbol, it's our film tape. We need to grab our rectangle tool or click M. Click on the free space to open the rectangle dialog box. Our height uh, should equal extrusion depth. So, we set extrusion depth to 180 pixels. So, our height should equal extrusion depth. Our width is a little bit more complicated because we should grab our circle circumference. So to calculate our circumference, we need to set 320 pixel, which is the diameter of width and height of our circle, and multiply it to uh, P. So I want to set a multiplication symbol and then set 3.14, but I actually want to grab 3.15 uh, to ensure that I have enough lens to cover all of my 3D shape. So I set 3.15, clicked up to proceed the calculation and I have width 1008 pixels and I want to set it to 1010 pixels. Click OK. And now I want to swap fill and stroke and set it to completely different color. Let's say this red is OK. Align it horizontally to the center and create a line and this line should cross all the rectangle and should start one circle sorry one circle from the top side of this rectangle so I want to create this line like so and now for this line we should create a stroke I want to set the stroke to white and then set the stroke weight to 20 points Open the stroke dialog box, set to dashed line, and set the dash weight to 20 points and dash gap to 20 points. 20 points is the size of this small cell in my grid. I want to check whether uh, what kind of type I have. Uh, I have a very nice line and I want to duplicate it and set it to one cell from the bottom. And now I want to select both of them and convert it to the sequence of uh, my square. So to do that, go to the object path and outline stroke. Then we need to enter the group and delete unnecessary rectangles that is uh, exceed the length of my red tape. Very nice. And now we need to subtract these sequences of uh, our squares from our red rectangle. And to do that, go to the Pathfinder and find this minus front command. 
If you can find your Pathfinder, go to the Windows and find it here, Pathfinder. Now we need to go to our Symbols panel. Again, if you can find your Symbols panel, go to the Windows Symbols and put it on the Symbols panel, like so. In Open Dialog Box, we can set it to, let's say, Cinema. I want to change the export type from gra movie clip to graphic and I want to set it to dynamic symbols. Click OK and we can delete this option, we don't need it anymore. Now align this both horizontally and vertically, our 3D shape. Go to appearance panel, if you can find your appearance panel, go to the windows appearance and uh, check this option 3D extrude and bevel. Navigate to map art. Change surface third of four here and uh, find your cinema symbol. Check preview, check invisible geometry, check scale to fit and we are entered with this result. Very nice. Click OK, click OK here and convert this 3D life effect to the regular Adobe Illustrator object in order to Modify all the colors and create the counter of this C. So go to the object, expand appearance. Now ungroup here, ungroup here. Release clipping mask from this forward object. Release clipping mask to the, from this uh, backward object. I want to also delete all the clipping paths and all the empty groups. They, we have two groups in total delete here as well so in so after cleaning our uh, design we have only two groups one is from our right and one from our left we'll grab our rectangle tool and create a rectangle i want to set it to let's say this black color swap fill and stroke and now I want to work with this rectangle, but before I want to uncheck this snap to grid option, Control shift quad. And I want to resize this rectangle so it's cover the even number of our uh, squares here. One, two, three, four, four squares. Then I want to grab all of my shapes and align it both uh, to the vertically to the center, like so. I uh, gonna move my rectangle a bit to the top. Beautiful. And now I want to select this shape uh, on my right and this rectangle. Go to Shape Builder tool and combine all of this shape all together. Very nice. And I want to delete, subtract these shapes from here. Now we can change our color. I want to set to my right shapes this uh, very light beige color through just a bit of yellow to the white and then uh, set a black color to this left shape. Go to my ellipse tool and create a background. Set it with Ctrl Shift left bracket to the bottom and change the color and voila, we have this nice letter C. C is for cinema. If you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day.